How's it going everyone? I am back after a week. Good news is I got the gay mic and I should be sounding a lot better. Um, it shouldn't peak as much and that is great. Um, what I'm going to be talking about today is the, the situation that's currently going on with Twitter and, you know, Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, KSI. They made a new Lunchable type deal and people are calling them out on it. I'll play the ad right here. Lunchly versus Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch bar. Whoa. Feastables Crunch yeah! Bar. Yeah! Our pizza uses real cheese. Theirs, as it says on their box, is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. They can't even call it real cheese. Ooh. We're also 30 less calories, three less grams of fat, and eight less grams of sugar. Turkey, Turkey stack stack 310 calories. 230 calories. 21 grams of sugar. Only seven grams of sugar. If you look at this close up, you can already tell which one has better ingredients. All right, we'll start off with the Lunchables. Bro, I'm sorry, that's trash. All right, now we're trying Lunchly. Come on. We're not biased at all, but ours is way better. Yeah, so it's pretty much dog shit. It, it doesn't look healthy at all. It doesn't look health more healthy than Lunchables, that's for sure. Um, Just because it's colorful. I don't think YouTubers that make food should be making food. Uh, except if you're like in culinary culinary school because you're missing the idea that if you're showing your brand of food you should be posting on healthy foods and home cooked foods and stuff like that not processed garbage because no matter how much you claim something to be good for you will not be good the main drama of this scenario is Dan TDM. Yes, you heard right. Dan TDM, you know, YouTube's prince, uh, just uh, commented, what happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. Just selling stuff for the sake of mo uh, making money simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better, right? And he's, uh, he's right. Like, it's just shitty processed garbage and you're just posting it to young kids who don't know anything about, you know, foods and such and saying it's healthy obviously they're just gonna listen that it's healthy okay processed foods aren't good for you and you're just you're just exploiting young kids and then ksi decided thinking that it would be a good idea posting this which shows dan tdm's like toy that was uh, a part of um youtube's uh, a while back which is completely different than selling foods that will make kids like unhealthy and overweight and also uh, he was proven wrong by many 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 people online that he also collaborated with U2s uh multiple occasions so not once did he do it but I'm pretty sure twice and he also did multiple food gigs um which I don't think any YouTubers with no prior knowledge should be doing like Dan Tedium is old is only in the right he is he, he just shut down all three of them and it's not just him after uh, KSI tried to make a comment back towards Dan TDM the entirety of internet is just clowning on KSI like uh, while well, Dan TDM is their main spotlight as you know pretty much shitting on them because they're just three money money whores that are just looking to gain more and more profit over stuff that shouldn't be useful uh, Mr. B should be supplying it for you know for his law uh, lawsuits and such because of what happened recently and the other two fucking i haven't seen anything about them in so long they're clinging to relevancy and as uh jack septic guy said uh if you mess with dan tdm you mess with the entirety of youtube um and that will be my uh statement on this whole situation short and quick not gonna give you guys any bullshit see you in the next video